Like many uh, American Indian museums in, in the country, this museum is incredible. It has everything from totem poles to tomahawks to silver artifacts. But two of the most impressive, I, I would think, and, and I think you will agree, are these two canoes. These are amazing. Yes, Brady. Uh, really, American Indian artifacts, primarily from the eastern tribes, are, are difficult to find. Uh, and many of them ended up in Europe because of uh, settlement during the, during the early part of uh, the uh, 1700s. And so we have here two fine examples of American Indian canoes. The, the top one is a beechwood dugout canoe, which was popular uh, primarily during the fur trade time. And then below here we have a, a birch bark canoe, which is about 24 feet long, uh, a very large canoe, and, it, and they're both uh, original artifacts in very good condition. Yeah, I was going to mention the, the, the top one, that looks like one of those processes where they take hot coals and, and burn out the canoe, is that, is that yes, correct? Yes, in fact you can, see the, uh, you can see the scarring that has taken the place. The charred inside. underneath there, that's yes. what, yeah. And they, right. they, they burn a little bit of that out, and then with knives and rocks and, and flint or whatever they had available to them, um, they would scrape those canoes out. Uh, the bottom one, however, you mentioned was one of two in, in existence. Right. This, is, this is one of two uh, of this type. It's believed to be a Chippewa or a Ojibwa canoe. The other is in England. Uh, and a canoe of, of this quality and of this size, a war-type canoe, which could hold eight to ten uh, Indians, uh, are extremely rare. And we're very fortunate to have it here in Ohio. That's, that's amazing.